Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through ad variations, how you can go about testing and scaling to your entire Google Ads account. So if that's the type of video you're looking for, make sure to stick around. Before diving in, thank you for subscribing. About 500 people have already subscribed to the channel, which is ridiculous and awesome. Never thought we'd make it that far. So I appreciate all of you. And if you would like more digital marketing related content, uh, consider subscribing as well. Appreciate it. Now, if you've been running paid ads campaigns for quite a while, ad variations may be a newer thing to you. They've been around for quite a bit the past couple of years or so. But in my experience, I haven't been I haven't seen it been used a ton. So what ad variations allow you to do is test one thing within an ad. Um, you can test the URL, the title, the description, um, several things and have an A-B test running at the same time. If you're familiar with Google Optimize or other A-B testing um, software, think of that, but on Google Ads um, specifically. So if you've created a new ad from scratch, you may have seen ad variation here. Uh, another way to get to this tab is if you just search for ad variation in the search bar on Google Ads, you can also get to this page. Um, or if you go to drafts and experiments, ads and variations will be a tab that pops out on the bottom. So several ways to get there, just like there is on everything for, for Google. But if you go to all campaigns, you can create a new ad variation from scratch and you can either apply this everywhere you're in your entire account. You can apply this to very specific campaigns. This is only currently available on Google search, not a, none of the other channels at this point. So I'll just do all campaigns and it's available for ETAs, text ads, or actually RSAs as well, the responsive search ads. So um, the, the one I'm gonna be testing it for is a responsive search ad. You could also look for very specific portions of the text. So let's say you wanna make sure you update the headline only, you can go that route. Same thing with any portion of the ad. So you can change any one of these pieces right here. I'm going to change my headline and update that. And you can say like, hey, must contain X, Y, Z. Um, so you can filter for very specific variants of your ads. But um, I thought I selected all campaigns. It looks like it doesn't want me to have this filter on here. And then once you click continue, you can make your variations. So you just have normal Boolean logic where you can do like, hey, find and replace, update text. You can literally swap headlines one and two if you want to keep it that simple. Um, but let's say I want to do a find and replace. Right now I have, I think, uh, Costco rules or I have like Costco as something in my headline, I could go and say, instead of Costco in any of my headlines, I can replace that with Costco is the best. So instead of Costco rules, I could do Costco is the best. Do continue. I can say run this for a specific amount of time. Um, I think by default, it'll go to 30 days, which it, it does. And then you can choose how you want to split test this. So if you're running drafts and experiments, very similar logic. You can apply this to 50% of the ads. So I'm going to go to create variation and we'll go to the Costco variation. And now you can see it's creating an ad type here where it's going to say, hey, anywhere it finds Costco rules, it's going to replace it with Costco is the best in my entire account. So think about this. If you have one very specific CTA you want to work on testing to see what wins and what is better, you'll be able to judge it from a click impression, most importantly, a click-through rate perspective. CPCs might be somewhat relevant, and if your ad relevance for quality score is a little bit lower, um, you might be able to see changes in CPCs a little bit, but the biggest benchmark you're going to look at here is click-through rate. So if you notice one theme has a much higher click-through rate, you may want to consider testing or implementing that new ad type throughout the remainder of your account. So. I really highly recommend ad variations because it allows you to scale your campaigns and test in a way that, that wasn't always available in the past. So keep that in mind. Um, as I mentioned, you're able to test a, a variety of things. So when you're doing this, you can um, test like your, your text, you can test swapping headlines, and then you can just create those variations. So um, pretty quick video today. This is a really useful tool that I tend to use um, pretty frequently when testing out ads. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And let me know what kind of tests you have seen work well for you. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks. See ya.